For the past week, I have observed you working on the decimal board for multiplication, multiplying a decimal times a whole number. And today we are going to learn how to multiply a decimal by a decimal using the decimal board for multiplication. I'm also going to show you a different variation. We're going to still use the white tiles for the multiplicand and the gray tiles for the multiplier. But instead of recording our partial product with the tiles, we're going to use a dry erase. Our problem today is 123 and 4 tenths times 5 and 43 hundredths. We're going to begin the same way by laying out the white tiles for our multiplicand on top. Then we are going to move on to the multiplier using the gray tiles. The three is going to be the closest to the multiplication symbol in the hundreds place, the four is the tenths place, and then the five is our units place. We also have to add a decimal, which I've already cut out, and that's gonna go between the five and the four, just as it is in our problem. Now we're going to have to do something with this decimal before we can begin. Do you remember that when we were multiplying and finding the partial product using a whole number. Every time we flipped one of the gray tiles, we slid everything to the left. Well, now with this decimal point, we need to slide it a place value to the right. And whenever we slide something to the right, our decimal point to the right, we also need to slide the multiplicand one place value to the right. So this can get a little tricky. The rule is if you are sliding the decimal point to the right, the multiplicand can gets slid to the right. If you are flipping while finding your product to the left, then everything is slid to the left. We stay in that same direction. So I'm sliding the decimal point to the right in my multiplier, and now I need to slide the multiplicand over one place value to the right. I need to slide the decimal again and onto the multiplication symbol, and I slide the multiplicand to the right. Now I am ready to begin my problem. I am flipping over the five and the four, leaving just the three exposed on my multiplier. And this time again, I am going to use a dry erase marker because it can be erased on the glass surface. Three times four is 12. the one on top. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Three times one is three. My partial product is ready to be put on paper. I'm gonna continue going because I'm using the whiteboard. So now I flipped over my units, I'm in the tens place, and because I made that flip, I'm sliding the multiplicand over one place to the left. Four times four is 16. Four times three is 12 plus one is 13. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. Just making that a little darker so it's easier for you to see. And then we have four times one is four. Now that that tens row is complete, I erase the top, flip over the four, and flip over the hundreds place. And now I have to slide my multiple can over one to the left because I flipped to the left. Five times four is 20. There, put the two on the top. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. One. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11. Five times one is five plus one is six. And now I am ready to solve. This is my partial product and I can add it right on the board. 0 plus 6 is 6, 7 plus 3 is 10, 
27, and then a 6. And just like before, I am going to follow that decimal point line, and my answer is 670 and 62 thousandths is my product. So that is how we multiply a decimal times a decimal. Let's do another one together.